Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create automatic price calculations in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. So we are going to give this page a name. So first of all, we need to close out of this Gutenberg editor, enter our name for our page and then use the Divi Builder. And for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. Now, before we even get started, I would like to start off by adding a background color. So let's just close out of this and click over here on the section settings, go to background, click on this plus button and paste your color like that. Now, it, throughout this design, I am going to be designing using these colors. And if you want to follow along step by step, you can always go ahead and uh, copy these colors on the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to design because we need to add a bottom divider. So we're going to come over here to dividers and we're going to go to bottom and then we're going to choose a specific one. So I'm just going to scroll down here and uh, find the one I need to use. Okay. So I want to choose my divider. And make sure you flip vertical here because this is how we ended up getting this shape. Next, we're going to come all the way down here to spacing. And then we're going to go to our padding bottom and set this to 130 pixels. And then we're going to save. Next, we're going to come over here to our column structure, add a single column. And in this column here, we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to select it. And in this text module, we are going to add some text, which is saying, what about pricing? Now we need to make sure that this is set to heading two. So go ahead and do that. And now let's go in and customize this text by coming over here to the design tab and then going into our heading text, making sure heading two tab is selected. We're going to click on this drop down and choose monster at. There we go. So I'm going to choose my font here. I'm going to make sure it's semi bold and it needs to be centered and it also needs a text color. And as I mentioned, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right. So that's our color. And we also need to set our size and it is going to be 57 pixels. And then the letter spacing is going to be minus two and then save. Next, we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to come over here to my layers, click on my layers panel, and we're just going to collapse this and then choose our text. So here is our text module here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. Now in this text module, we're going to say see for yourself. So I'm just going to drag this over here just in case we're going to need to use it soon. All right. So I have my text here that says see it for yourself. Now let's head over here to our text settings. So over here, I'm going to choose my font, which I've just used, which is monster ad. We're going to center it by coming all the way down here on text alignment. We need to click on center. Now we need our text color. So we're going to go further down, click here on the eyedropper tool and paste the color like that. Next, we're going to add our text size, which is going to be 22 pixels. And then we're going to save. Next, we are going to add a divider module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for divider and select it. All right. So now that we have our divider there, the next step now is to change our line color, which is going to be white. And to do that, we're going to come over here to design line and set our color here to white. And now let's set our width size by coming over here to sizing. So here we're going to set our width to 12%. We're going to center it and then save. Next, we're going to add another section by clicking here on this plus button and then choosing regular. Now for this section here, before we even start uh, designing, we need to add a background color. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to close this, come over here to my section settings background and then I'm just going to click here and paste my color. Next, I'm going to come over here to design spacing. Now here we need to add some padding just to give this design some breathing space. So my top is going to be 70 and my bottom here is going to be 130 pixels and then save. Now it's time to add our rows. So I'm going to go ahead and select my columns here. So we're going to go with the three columns. Now, before I even do anything here, I would like to go into the row settings. 
So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, design sizing. So here on sizing, we are going to make a few adjustments. So first of all, we are going to go to the width here and make sure it's set to 80%. Now let's head over here to spacing. And this is where we need to add a padding bottom. And this needs to be 70 pixels. Next, we're going to head over here to the border. And this time we're going to add a bottom line here and we're going to set this to one pixel. And the color here needs to be white. All right. So the next thing we need to do is to add this code. And what this code does is it allows all the columns to be in a, next to each other when we take a look at different mobile views. So I'm going to come over here, go to custom CSS and in the main element, I'm going to add display flex and then save. Now let's head over to column one and here we're going to add a blurb. So here it is. I'm going to select it. Next, I'm going to come over here to image and icon, activate image. And we need to choose this plus icon here. But you know what? For now, we need to get rid of all this text because we don't need it yet. So I'm just going to delete that and also delete my paragraph text. All right, great. The next step now is to go into design and we need to add our icon color. So I'm going to come over here to image and icon. Let's set our icon color. I'm going to paste my color in here. And then I am going to circle icon. And now we need to add our circle color. So I'm going to come over here and click on the eyedropper tool and paste my color like that. Okay, so as you can see, my color now matches here with my top area. So the next step we're going to do now is to go to icon font size. And this is where we customize our icon. And we need to set this to 96. Now, while we're here, we also want to add a hover state on our icon color. So I'm going to click here on this little icon, select my hover tab and add my color to black. Now, this will happen when I mouse over that item. Okay, so now that we have this, this is looking great. The next step now is to add some a CSS ID. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to advance and click on CSS ID and classes. And here's my CSS ID. Okay, so now that I have my CSS ID, it's time now to add my text module to column two. So I'm going to save this, come over here to column two, click on this plus button and search for my text module, select it. Now, all I need to say in here is brand identity. We're going to set this to heading three. Now let's head over here to the design tab, heading text, making sure you're in heading three. We are going to choose our font, which is Monsterat, and uh, we're also going to make it semi bold. Now, as you can see, it's difficult to read the, the background because the background is dark as well. So we need to change the color. So to do that, we're going to come over here to our heading three text color and add our color like that. Next, we're going to add our size. So I'm going to come over here and choose my size. And the letter spacing is going to be minus one. And then the line height is going to be 1.1. All right. So now we're going to save this. We're going to come over here and uh, add another text module. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. We're going to add our text in here, but this is just going to be our normal paragraph text. Now let's head over here to our text settings. Click on text. Let's choose our font. It's going to be monster at. And for the font weight, we're going to make this ultra light. And uh, we might as well add our color while we're here. So I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color like that. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors, you can head over to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below, which will have all the colors. Now let's add our text size. And this is going to be 23. Our letter spacing is going to be minus one and then 1.1 for our line height. Okay. So that's looking great so far. Now we're going to continue on and add some more text modules. So I'm going to save this. So this time our text module here needs to go to column three. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking on this plus button, searching for my text module. And this one here is going to have a price in it. So 
I'm gonna add my dollar sign and this is going to be 10K. Now let's customize our text by coming over here to the design tab text. And first of all, let's add our font here. And then we need to set our weight. And this time we're gonna go with heavy. We're also going to center this. Now let's add our color because as you can see, we can't read it clearly. So we're gonna come over here and set this to white. And now we need to increase the size. And this time it needs to be 40 pixels. So now you can see the text is nice and big. Now what we need to do is to add our CSS ID and classes. So I'm going to come over here to the advanced tab. CSS ID and classes. So for CSS ID, we are going to add an ID called price one. So let's add it over here. And we also need to add our class CSS. So again, I'm going to come over here and add my CSS. Now, if you want to use the exact same settings as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the post in the show notes below. So now that we have this, all I have to do now is to save. And we need to clone these rows now because we need to add more items on this page. So to do that, we are going to do a few things. So I'm just going to close this. So what we're going to do is to duplicate this row. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, this is just saving us time to design this over and over again. So you can clone this as many times as you want. And also you can go in and change those titles. So before I do that, I just want to close out of here and uh, we're just going to go into our CSS IDs and make some changes. So I'm going to come over here to this blurb, go into the settings advanced custom CSS. In fact, it's CSS ID and classes. So instead of saying click one, this becomes now click two. And we also need to do the same to this one here. Next, we're going to also come to the text price here. So let's go into the settings. Click on advanced. CSS ID and classes. So this one here is class one that I mean price one that is fine. Next, let's go to price two. So I'm going to click here on the gear icon advanced. And then I'm going to set this to price two. I'm going to save that and then I'll do the last one. And this needs to be price three. So let's say for now, and uh, all we have to do now is to go in and change the titles and the prices for this. So the first one is brand identity. This one here could be web creation. So let's go ahead and uh, just change this to web design. We're going to save this. And then the last one would be perhaps advertising. So I'm going to go in. Okay, so now that we have our titles, we might as well go in and also change the pricing. So here, let's say this becomes um, 35K and then over here, we could say 20K. The next step is to add another row. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. We also need three columns. Now, let me go into the row settings by clicking on this gear icon. All right. So now we're going to come over here to advanced and click on custom CSS. Now we also need to make sure this CSS code here is added and that is design flex. Okay, so here goes now the styling and this is mainly going to go into our page settings. So again, you're going to have to copy this from the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So for now, I'm going to close this and then we need to add a code module to the first column. So I'm going to come over here and uh, search for my code module, which is right here. And we're just going to paste this like that. All right. So now that this is set, I'm going to save it. So here on the second column, we're going to add a text module as well. I'm going to select it. And we are just going to say packages starting at. There we go. So that's our text. Now let's stylize this text by coming over here to design. And we're going to go into text. Choose our font. Now we want this to be ultra light as well. And we're going to give this a color and a size. So I'm going to come over here to the eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now the size need to be, needs to be 23. So I'm going to 
add my size there and let's add the letter spacing set it to minus one and the line heights to 1.1 and then we're going to save next we're going to come over here to our third column and in here we're also going to add a text module but here we're going to do something different because we are going to remove all the text and just make this empty but we're going to come over here to the design tab and we're going to go into our text here and set our font to monster and we're also going to make our font weight here heavy and then we're going to align everything so i'm going to scroll down here make sure our line center is selected and also our color here is set to white and for our text size we are going to set this to 40. so i'm going to go ahead and add 40 here now it's time to come come over here to the advanced tab css id and classes and our id here is going to be total price calc which is for calculation all right so now that everything is all set we're going to save this and we're going to go into our db theme options so i'm going to open this in the new tab in fact you know what let me save this first so i'm going to publish it and then i'm going to open this in a new tab come over here to dv and we need to go to our theme options click on integration now over here on the head we need to add our tags so i'm going to start my opening bracket here and this is going to be script and i'm going to add my ending one so now that i have my opening and closing tags i am going to paste my code in the middle here and making sure that you add the code to the head part of the blog i'm going to scroll all the way down here and save changes now let's take a look and see what our final result looks like so i'm going to save and refresh the page in fact i need to exit the visual builder first okay so let's take a look at our final design so here it is and you can see when i mouse over here my color changes and as you can see when i press this plus button here it brings out my my pricing and you can see here it's 15k and if i click on this one here you notice that now it's calculating so 15 plus 15 equals 30 so this is how it's calculating everything and again if i come over here now that adds up to 40k so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care